All right, we are now to the step where we are ready to transfer our markings. So if you open up your directions to right here, this first step of transfer pattern markings um, in your directions. So if we take a look at what we've got here, first of all, you're gonna wanna remove all of the pins from your project. Uh, so be careful that you don't stab yourself with the pen. We really don't have any pattern markings to transfer on our pockets, so we're just gonna kind of set that off to the side and, and work with that later. At this point, what we're ready to do is to transfer these dashed lines right here to our fabric. You've got a couple of different ways you can do that. The first way is using a tracing wheel. Um, super duper simple and easy, you, and we just are gonna use the pattern marking. We just push down hard as you are working your way across this line, wanting to make sure that the pattern is not moving on you as you're going. Uh, you do want to push pretty hard you're just gonna essentially cross those lines and just kind of do the dot to dot type concept using that tracing wheel. You will faintly be able to see the transfer marking transferred over to your fabric. You will notice that it doesn't really super great go through to the other layer. It does a little bit, but it might be a good idea to, to try this on both sides. Um, I did neglect it, so I want to make sure I line it all back up again. I need to go kind of go across the top. This is gonna give you an idea of where the top of your strap is going to be. This section right here is where you're gonna reinforce your bag handles. I typically don't mark that spot, but you can if you'd like. Just know that you are going to be stitching in that spot. The next spot that I wanna make sure I transfer is the bottom of my, my pocket position. So I'm just gonna once again, do this line across. I wanna make sure that my pattern doesn't move on me too much as I'm doing this. Now, if you don't have tracing wheels at your school, one thing that you can use to transfer your, your markings is pins. Um, I'm just gonna mark the top corner of my lines right there with the pin, and I'm gonna kinda of come down and just put the pin in the same position down here at the bottom, and I might maybe want to to do one in the middle just for sake of keeping the, the line straight. Then I can come through, if I hold the pin on the bottom side and just pop the pin head through that pattern, and this is gonna mark each of the spots that I need to then use a marking pencil to transfer those lines. I can, same concept as over here, I'm going to draw these lines right here. I could use a ruler and a marking pencil to do this. I would just want to make sure that I've got a marking pencil that I can actually see on my design right there. So I'm going to, this is just another way really quickly to line up and transfer those markings if you didn't have a tracing wheel. So we're just going to this is just gonna give me a general, general idea, and remember the marking pencil is going to wash out. It's not something that's temp or permanent. It's a temporary marking. This is just gives me the same general idea. Just remember that what you do here, I also need to flip over and do on this side. So while those pins are still in place, I can transfer this marking to here as well. Just wanting to keep this as straight as needed this is just ouch that hurt um just a general marking of where we're going to be putting our straps later you can kind of barely see my pocket placement and you can see the line right there so my it worked well enough with the tracing wheel that i don't need to worry about that later so i can pull my pins out now um, and I have transferred those markings. I am now ready to start sewing this project together.